Ladies and gentlemen, counter tourism has been quite exciting since the beginning of the year thanks to the enhancement and investment made in the city's experience, attractions, and logging. The city's tourism industry saw several incredibly fantastic results in terms of visitors and revenue, particularly during the Lunar New Year vacation. Despite being the seventh day of death, the Dong Ha Fortuneland Hotel still had a lively atmosphere. When staying at the hotel during this period, guests can also personally select Lucky Fortune at the start of the year, in addition to relaxing and indulging in a range of European and Asian dishes for breakfast. This has aided in educating foreign guests about the practices associated with Vietnamese death. The head of the unit claims that this year's is unique in that the four-star hotel was completely occupied from the first to the fifth day of the Lunar New Year, with most of the visitors traveling from European nations. By 2024, this hotel hopes to have increased both its guest count and revenue by 40 to 50 percent. This year, in addition to European visitors, we will work with travel companies to extend invitations to Australia, Japanese and Southeast Asian visitors to Kanto to stay at our hotel. Regarding the domestic market, we intend to expand the tourism industry in the Central Highlands. This market has a lot of promise, but it hasn't been explored recently. The lodging should be conveniently located in the heart of Kanto so that visitors may travel there with ease and see the city's most popular attractions. Second, it ought to be a tidy and cozy space. These are the two factors that matter the most to me when selecting a hotel. In addition to lodging operations, travel businesses in the city of Kanto have seen a lot of success since the year's beginning. Typically, on the first day of death, Viet Travel Kanto organized a farewell ceremony for over 250 spring travelers who were going all across the nation. In addition, there's a greater interest in Kanto and the Mekong Delta region among domestic travelers. More visitors than in the past years arrived in Kanto during the first few days of the new year, primarily from Ho Chi Minh City and the northern and central provinces. We hope that this bodes well for the growth of tourism in Kanto and the Mekong Delta, with more tourists expected in the upcoming years. Thanks to the positive signs from the beginning of the new year, investment interest, quality improvement from tourism units, and the right direction in the advertising and promotion of the city's tourism and functional sectors. Gangta expects to welcome 6.1 million visitors and generate approximately 6,000 billion Vietnam Dong in tourism revenue in 2024.